guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today we are just having like a chill little day. It is so sunny out. We're just having like a chill little day and just kind of spending time together. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing lately. I feel like everything is everywhere and I guess that's okay. Um, me and my sister are starting to prep for Strange Creek which is like this music festival we're going to at the end of this month. So super exciting. So I have a lot of prep work to do for that in terms of like packing, but also in terms of like YouTube. I just wanna get videos like prepped so I don't have to work while I'm there. Um, I would like to take some footage while I'm there, but I don't know what I'm gonna get because this is my first music festival. So I'm very excited. My sister's been going to Strange Creek since forever. Um, I have an appointment for my car to get an oil change today. So we're on our way to that. Uh, it's not for like another 40 minutes, but like, I like to be early. It's just a thing I have. I also just feel like I'm kind of going through it in terms of like, I don't know what I really want right now. Like for those of you who don't know, I have a podcast. It's called Kylie's Corner. I really like podcasting. I really do. I used to post every Monday and every Friday. And for the last couple weeks, probably like a month, I have not posted at all. And I'm sorry, but like I just kind of needed a second. And like now I'm like ready. I do want to get back into it. I think I'm going to film an episode today. Um, and I just, I miss talking to you guys. I feel like videos lately haven't been super chit chatty. And I miss that. I do miss that. I've just been, it's just been a lot. Um, I have been like kind of like scoping around the country to see kind of where like I really want to live right now. Um, I'm looking to get away from Massachusetts and I originally I was thinking about moving to like New York City. However, for me personally, I don't think it's like it's not plausible for me to truly like give up things like amusement parks like Six Flags and like my car. Those are things I really enjoy having. So that's not something I really totally want to give up. And that's okay. And I think it's important for me to know kind of what I want. So right now I've been looking in California. And yeah, I'm just looking right now. I'm just doing a lot. I don't know what I would do for work down there, but we're just scoping right now. That's what I like to call it. I feel like I've just been all over the place for like the last couple months and like I really just need to get back to center and like chill out and figure it out, you know? Cause it's okay. It's okay to not know what you want to do or not like, I'm not like this is what I want to do and this is the exact order I want to do it in. I'm like, hey, I know I want to move. Okay, let's start saving money. Let's come up with a soft action plan and let's go from there. I'm not a huge planner, but I do like a soft action plan. I like to say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do when I get there. And this is what the time I'm giving myself. Like as of right now, I'm like, okay, I kind of want to move in like November. Like November 1st is like my move in date to an apartment I don't have yet, but that's okay. So I've just been looking and I'm just, I'm just ready. You know, I am born and raised right here where I live. And you know, there's a lot to be said about that, but it also feels like I haven't seen anything. And that's kind of sad. And like, that's the thing is like my family lives here. It's like I can always come back because I have an excuse to come back. I'm just really proud of myself lately for being able to admit that I don't know what I want. Like that, that does make me really proud of myself. Because it's not a bad thing to not know what you want. It's okay. Um, I'm going to take a pause, listen to some music, and I will see you guys at the dealership when we get there for my oil change. Because while we're there... I do just want to scope. I do just want to look. I'm not going to buy a car. I'm not going to buy a car. I will say that right now. But I do want to like look at trucks. 
I've been like, I want a Ford F-150 so bad, but I just want to look right now. Um, I don't know how I ended up here, but now I'm kind of sitting outside Cheshire Lake. Um, I already passed the dealership that I have to go to, and it's like 1 o'clock, so I'm just waiting. But this is always like so pretty. There's a bunch of houses on the shoreline. It's just like this big lake in the middle of this small town. My, the mountains are my favorite. Honestly, when I move somewhere that doesn't have mountains, it's probably going to be such a weird change and adjustment. I'm just going to relax for a little bit. Um, I just got to the dealership and I'm about to go in to get my car serviced. And uh, for some reason, I'm so nervous. But uh, let's go in and I want to look at trucks. Cars dropped off. That was actually pretty scarily easily. Like you just drove into the lot and then it was fine. Um, so we're walking to the trucks now. I have an hour to wait. Honestly, I love all these trucks. Um, I did see one Ford F-150 and that's the kind of car I really want. It doesn't have like the price on it or any of the details, so that kind of sucked. Um, and usually like I feel like you walk in a car lot, and everyone's like, can we help you? What can we do for you? Nobody's asked me once. Do I look like I don't need help? So I'm just looking. I like this Ford F-150 a lot. It's like standard black. I don't have the details up, so I don't know anything about it. I really like the interior of it. This is gorgeous. I'm just a truck girl. What can I say? We have just gotten done at the dealership. I found this truck that I really liked, and it was a Ford F-150. It's the only one on the lot. It was a 2015, and it was 26, 26 and then three zeros. And I was like, uh, nope. Um, I also don't know what that process looks like to switch in a car that you've like still have a loan on and then get a new car. I think the loans just stack and then you like owe a lot more money. I bought this for 25. So I don't know. I don't really know how that works. We are heading to my sister's now and then I believe we are picking her up and then going to the dollar store together. So that is so exciting. It's just been such an intriguing day today. Also, I feel like usually when you're on a car lot, everybody's like all over you, like flies to mosquitoes. I literally asked somebody for help. And I was like, this is bonkers. It's like, this is crazy. I'm just like peeking. I don't need a new car that's like literally the last thing I need. Um, but yeah, I was just looking. We are gonna head to my sister's and I will see you guys when we grab her. Okay, so me and my sister Courtney are going to this festival at the end of the month called Strange Creek. It's my first ever one, but my sister is an expert on Strange Creek. It's been forever. So let's check out what camping supplies, let's check out what camping supplies we already have. Matt, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Okay, Court, show us what you got. Hi. This is Courtney, she's an icon. So the biggest That's thing Nova. That there is to camping at festivals in general is a wagon and to keep everything that you're going to use as supplies into a container so it doesn't get wet. Heard. So in here, as you can see, I have some of my, like, my, what I'd call quintessentials. I always bring little containers to put into my tent or to keep in the festival grounds that everyone can keep certain things in. Like, this is really good if you have jewelry or, like, mascara or something you want to keep near you. I've got my disco balls. I've got all my, um, this is not, I don't want to unpack it all right now. But I do have a lot of my, like, cups. I'm big on reusable things. I did bring paper plates this year. I typically don't bring paper plates, but I always bring, like, this really cool basin that actually has a hole in it. But Matt fixed it with, with tape. Wow. So we can wash everything that we need at the festival. And I bring, like, Dr. Bronner's soap with me and that like you can wash your body in anything with that that's super super helpful that's genius flashlights are really important um i have all my like weird trinkets i will say though i do have this little oh, bubble machine it's oh narwhal, icon we can bring with us and keep when we're at the field okay we just do this and the kids love it fabulous and I love then to this is the my kids. hybrid um this is my most prized possession this is my hybrid alien, the claw, okay. mixed with Boo from Monsters, Inc. 
with, limited edition with the hoops with the hoops uh with the to boots, come with, with the, the hoops fur. or no, we pierced her ears oh okay okay just had to be sure that was a festival thing and then also i have this blue gnome that's been to every concert i've ever been to he's in here somewhere i just don't feel like digging him out okay heard i also have the most cup oh is this him yes this is him this gnome has been to every concert i've ever been to that's I've slept at. Okay. Anything. One time I didn't set up a whole campground at a festival, and I just put him in front of my car. Love that. Um, and then also, it's really fun. I have a lot of stickers. I have a light up mirror. Light up mirror and like a full length mirror. I'm putting you in charge of full length mirror. Is like really fun to have at festivals. Okay. Because then it's like anybody can come look at their outfits. Also, that's this year, essential. I have. A mini Jenga game that we can set up right outside of our campsite and people can play it as they go by and it Ooh, goes in the dark. That's gonna be good. And then I have my blow up Hello Kitty. She needs to be washed. Okay. Hose her down. That is so exciting. We're gonna have such a blast. We're just starting. The K is for Kylie, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we are gonna go to the Dollar Tree and see what other trinkets and fun things we can find. Is there anything we're going for specifically? Um, honestly, I think the Dollar Store is really, really good for weird quintessentials. Weird quintessentials. Um, like if you need hydrogen peroxide or alcohol, I'd got, get it there. Um, like weird little things that you wouldn't think would be helpful. <clears throat> because if you think about it when you're camping, they probably you are want everything helpful. to be expendable and just very convenient in some way. And so, so excited. We'll see you guys at the Dollar Tree. We're in label shopper. Having a blast. Find anything good? Always. We just got home. I'm really happy with today. I think I had a really great, proactive, and productive day. And Kenneth is now here. He's a little baby. Um, me and him are going to make dinner have dinner i am also really sorry that i didn't film at the dollar tree i did forget we just got like little trinkets and stuff stuff to like put on people and hand out and really we're just kind of packing right now which is so exciting it's coming by so quick um but i love you guys and i will see you all next week bye